If it's two things Trinbegunians love to do, it's eat and drink. I ain't heaven right now, you see me here. I mean, look at all of this. Local seasoning snacks, confectionery bitters. So it really makes sense that the Ministry of Trade and Industry has identified the local food and beverage industry as a good area for development. Mm -hmm. Local food and beverage manufacturing really took off when our economy contracted in the early 1980s after the boom. The import substitution policy forced TNT to be more self-sufficient. We learned to produce foodstuffs which were previously imported. Family produced goods, little cottage industries, became recognized brands. Today, the companies themselves have evolved into world-class international players and our country has set itself apart as the giant among regional food and beverage manufacturers. After the liberalization of the Trinidad and Tobago economy, Domestic food and beverage manufacturing thrived in response to increased competition. The result? A dynamic industry with household name brands as well as many smaller specialty companies producing Caribbean and gourmet targeted niche products, utilizing our unique Caribbean flavors for regional and international consumption. Do you know that there are over 400 registered food and beverage businesses in TNT? Like eating and drinking really paying off. So out of wonder. Is there really an opportunity here for me? Opportunities in the sector are greater than ever before. The industry has seen an 8.1% increase in its contribution to gross domestic product. Export values have been in excess of 900 million TT dollars. And food and beverage employs over 9,000 people and has established professional links with other local industries such as printing, packaging, marketing and distribution. To encourage even greater growth, the industry's strategic plan includes a development committee to implement and manage its sustainability. With the support of the Ministry of Trade and Industry, local food and beverages will expand their reach, innovation and competitiveness. Over the years, the Ministry of Trade and Industry has made available to small businesses as ourselves uh, several initiatives, several grants, several programs that we have been able to participate in um, to assist us in our growth um, and product diversification. We have benefited from the exemption of duty that is, that is afforded to goods produced within the CARICOM region. In addition, we have been able to access the research and development facilities and technical staff at Kariri, which again, being a small company, we do not really maintain an in-house research and development department. And we've been able to go to Kariri and access nutritional analysis, microbial and shelf life advice. And um, that has gone a long way in assisting us to develop professional products that can stand up on a world stage. Well, the future for food and beverage is looking so bright. I have to wear my darkers. I mean, this thing dynamic and it's growing. The IMF forecasting a 4.5% GDP increase over the next year for the Caribbean and Latin America. Like, now is the time. The Ministry of Trade and Industry has been able to assist KC Confectionery and more so, I would say, the manufacturing sector of Trinidad and Tobago by, first of all, offering duty-free concession of all raw materials. Raw materials are imported in Trinidad and Tobago for overuse without paying duty and adding costs to our manufacturing as an input. As a result of this, we are able to compete you know, in both in the local market and also in the export market. Well, the growth in the export market and the vision here that we have continued to grow in the manufacturing, uh, we see it uh, as a good opportunity to continue to expand in the other markets. Our TNT manufacturers are expanding to establish a global presence. There are limitless investment opportunities in the food and beverage sector, especially in the context of continued trade liberalization and increased interest in gourmet and specialty foods. So, the Ministry of Trade and Industry has put in place attractive incentives to spur growth. Investors can take advantage of no duties on equipment and materials for major capital investments. VAT relief on imports for capital-intensive enterprises and income tax breaks out of profits from the manufacture of certain products.
Imagine producing a range of special products that we take for granted and other people think exotic. Like fruit cakes and sauces and juices and ice cream. Oh, I get hungry just thinking about it. Set against the backdrop of Trinidad and Tobago's steady economic growth, well-developed transportation links and efficient workforce, it's no wonder that our food and beverage industry is on the rise. The fact that TNT already has a proven track record thanks to several trusted brands makes growth even easier. But it also means that we have higher standards to maintain. Angostura has always been not just about the promotion of our products, but certainly about the promotion of Trinidad and Tobago as a whole. And we have worked hand in hand with the Ministry of Trade and Industry to develop trade here in Trinidad and Tobago. We've always encouraged people when we go out to promote our products internationally to come to Trinidad and see the myriad of opportunities there are when it comes to trade. You see what I mean? That is the perfect business for me. I always in the kitchen making a set of pepper jelly and things for my family and my friends. I think I should start charging them for it, you know. Mm -hmm. Are going to call Netco or BDC, which have small and medium sized businesses get off the ground. Watch and see. I go be the next big thing in food and beverage. I could be bigger than Carib, bigger than Bitters. I could see it now. This Sasha's pepper jelly. God! And Jemima will have nothing with me. In fact, it should be this Sasha's hot pepper jelly. Hot for so. <laughs>